When I was a brand new second lieutenant of Butter Bar, as they called it, I wanted to be the best damn lieutenant in the Army. Not just in the logistics branch, which is the branch which I was, I was quartermaster, the entire Army. So when they said, do you want to go to airborne school? I said, that's right, let me jump out of airplanes, because that's a great idea. Uh, when you want to, you know, do you want to go to air assault school? That's right, that's a great idea. Let's repel off a helicopter with a rope. Um, let's go to Pathfinder School. Um, and I did all those things. I studied super hard, tactics, land nav, number one in my officer basic course. So when I got to Korea for my first assignment, and I got a phone call at 0500 hours to take a year analysis. Now for those of you who don't know, that's a drug test. I was prepared. My uniform was laid out, my ID tags, my ID, everything. Because in the Army we say early is on time, on time is late, and late is dead. And I was early. I walk in there, I'm very proud to be the first person to report for this uh, monumental event. And I tell my commander, good morning, sir. First one here. He's like, well, good for you. You are so lucky because you get to be the observer. <laughs> uh, sir, uh, I, what does that mean? Oh, don't, don't worry, Lieutenant. You just go see First Sergeant and he will square you away. You're going to be all right. Okay. So I walk over to First Sergeant's office. Hey, Todd, good morning. Good morning, Airborne. That's a little bit too much motivation for me, but good morning, Airborne. Have you ever been an observer before? No, First Sergeant, I have not. Okay, it is easy peasy, lemon squeaky. This is all you got to do. <laughs> you will observe each female go into the latrine. They will deposit their specimen in a little cup. You will watch them put that specimen into the cup. You will not take your eyes off of them the entire time. Then you will watch them take the specimen back to the sign-in table. They will sign it in. Do you understand, Lieutenant? Yes, first arm. Airborne. Okay. <laughs> At this moment, I'm thinking, holy crap, I'm supposed to be leading soldiers in combat, jumping out of airplanes. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be on a range firing a 50 cal somewhere. Nowhere in my paperwork do I remember them saying, you were going into the vagina police. <laughs> I know that they're just messing with me. This has got to be a test. No. I found out very quickly that this was for real, and if I'm going to be the best number one lieutenant, then I need to do this, and I need to do it really, really well. So I escorted the first female to the latrine, and I'm watching her. She's carrying her cup, and she sets it onto the toilet paper dispenser, and she just kind of stares at me. It's like, you, you can go now. You just pull your shirt up, and... Pull your shorts down and go to the bathroom. Um, uh, ma'am, uh, I, I haven't really waxed lately and my lady maintenance is a little behind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry, we're all busy. Like, no judgment. Like, it's, it's totally <laughs>
see, she's already had like three or four kids. Me, I'm so modest. Like, I'm in my 20s. And after she provides her specimen, she just whips out that tampon, changes out for the next one. And I, and I can't, I'm not. because she was a little more masculine than the rest. Shaved head, walked kind of like a dude, and goes very comfortably into the latrine, and turns on, instead of just like rolling up her shirt, just takes it off. <laughs> takes off her shorts completely. <laughs> so now she's naked. <laughs> I have to keep looking. I can't look away.